access to immigrant health care and social media safety. A new political ad from the Iowa Republican Party is targeting a longtime State House Democrat. KCRG T9's Rebecca Von Fact checked that ad and joins us now live in the studio. Rebecca? Democrat Chuck Eisenhart is running for an eighth term in the Iowa House, representing part of Dubuque. Republican Jennifer Smith is trying for the second time to unseat him. She lost by just 96 votes two years ago. With a new ad, she's going after his long record in the legislature, starting with this. Eisenhart voted to give free health care to illegal immigrants, making Iowa pay the price. This claim comes from the 2018 legislation session. Republicans introduced an amendment to Iowa's constitution guaranteeing the right to bear arms. In protest, Democrats proposed other amendments, including one to guarantee the right to health care. The amendment doesn't talk about free health care for illegal immigrants. Republicans blocked votes on all of the Democratic amendments, so that means Eisenhart never voted on this. He tried to raise taxes and block income tax cuts. He even voted against eliminating the retirement income tax. In 2023, Eisenhart introduced a bill that would have raised the sales tax and have the extra revenue go to the Outdoor Recreation Trust Fund for water quality projects. The bill was referred to the Ways and Means Committee, but didn't go any further. Eisenhart voted against Governor Reynolds' 2022 tax cut, which changed Iowa's income tax to a flat 3.9 percent, regardless of how much money they make. But that bill also eliminated taxes on retirement income. But it is worth noting that this year he voted for a bill that cut that tax rate lower and sped up how quickly it takes effect. He voted to let social media giants exploit our kids' data for profit. Eisenhart was part of the House committee that voted down a social media bill earlier this year. It would have required parental approval for Iowans under 18 to access a social media account. It also required parental permissions for social media companies to collect data on their kids' accounts. Federal law already requires social media parental consent for anyone under age 13. You can see the full ad airing here on TV9, and you can check out the sources that we base our fact check on in this story on KCRG.com. Live in the studio, Rebecca Vaughn, KCRG TV9 News. Well, with